Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I am back in my sewing room to do another sewing video for you guys. And today I'm going to be making a wraparound style skirt. So I've just finished it. So here's what it looks like. And it's a really basic, simple style. I did my own pattern for this. So I'm going to show you guys all of the math involved with that of how I put the pattern together so you can do it yourself. It's a really simple design, especially if you're new to sewing. There's not a lot involved here other than some straight seams. So I think you're gonna find it really straightforward to make. I kind of was inspired by a couple of skirts I'd seen from Madewell and also from Faithful the brand, if you're familiar with either of those. They have a lot of these cute wraparound style midi skirts and sometimes with this curved front which is what I've gone for on mine I really like how it turned out so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and show you how to make the pattern and how to make the skirt and I hope you guys enjoy so to get started today I'm going to be making a pattern so this is my design for the skirt it's just a basic wrap style but it does curve in the front and have this little bow detail at the waist so as I'm going through the math for the pattern just substitute in your own waist and hip measurements and do the same calculations it might be a little confusing but I will have all of those listed down in the description box so you can just plug the numbers in the first number we'll be calculating is the top width for each of the skirt pieces. So start out with your waist measurement, mine is 27.5 inches, and then to that add one inch of ease. This is just like a little bit of extra room for your skirt. Now take that number and divide it in half, divide it by two, and then to that number add one more inch for a seam allowance, and that gives me 15.25. Next up we'll calculate the hip measurement. So start with your hip measurement, mine is 37, add one inch of ease, and then divide this in half. Now add one more inch for seam allowance to that number and that will give you the hip measurement minus 20 inches here. Now we're going to calculate the waistband. So take your waist number from the first calculation, multiply it by three and subtract two inches, which were our seam allowance originally. Now add to that 17 inches for the length of your tie. That gives me 60.75. So let's take a quick look at all of the pieces we'll need to make the skirt. First up is the front piece, which we'll need two of, and the top measurement here will be 15.25. I will cut this out twice. Next, we have the back piece, and the top measurement here will be 15.25. And then I've measured down to the widest part of my hips, which is 10 inches from my waist, and I wanna make sure that the skirt measures 20 inches across here to accommodate my hip measurement. Now, my length is 30 inches. You can choose whatever length you'd like. For the waistband piece, I have this longer piece that is 68.75 inches. I think I wrote 2.5 here, but I meant 7.5. And then you will also need a additional tie piece. This one will be 17.5 inches and then I'm making my ties 3.5 inches wide. So those are all the pieces we will be making. So the first pattern I'm making is the front piece and I'm using some tissue paper that I've just taped together here. So I'm drawing a 15.25 inch line across the top and then measuring down 30 inches at a slight angle for the side here. Now I'm using this curved ruler that I have in my sewing supplies just to make a nice even curve across the front and then straighten it as I go towards the top here. So that is the skirt front piece, both sides, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the pattern piece out. the back piece I will be cutting it on the fold just to save on tissue paper that means I'm drawing out half of the pattern here you could do the whole thing if you wanted to so I'm taking half of my top measurement and marking that then marking down and across 10 inches so that I can accommodate the hip measurement here then I'm going to connect all the way down to the 30 inch length and draw on that angle Then I'll just use my curved ruler to curve off the bottom and give it a nice drape in the back. I'm also marking the fold on this pattern. Since this will be cut on the fold, that just means that that straight edge is the folded fabric so that it will open out to a full back piece. So now that the front and back pieces are cut out, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my fabric using these pattern pieces. I need two of the front piece and then one of the back piece cut on the fold. Now since my waistband piece and tie piece are just straight rectangles, I'm just going to cut those out with the measurements that I use. So I've got my long one and my short one here. So the first step to actually sewing the skirt is to sew up the side seam. So I'm pinning the sides together with right sides together, sewing that down with a half an inch seam allowance and then serging the edges. So with the side seams, 
sewn, the skirt is really already starting to take shape. So I'm just pressing those seams towards the back and now it's time to go ahead and hem. So I'm going to serge the entire edge of my skirt and then turn that serging under, it's about a quarter of an inch, but just turning under the serging and stitching that down for the hem. So moving on now to the waistband and waist tie and starting with the short tie, I'm going to turn under the edge of this just a half an inch to keep that edge from being a raw edge, then fold the right sides together and pin this into a tube. I'm going to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance all across the top of it and then I will pivot my needle to kind of make this end pointed, which I think just looks a little bit cuter. You could sew it however you would like to, but I like the pointed edge here. And then moving on to the long piece, we're going to start by doing the same thing to this piece, measuring up 17 inches because we wanna keep a nice gap to insert the skirt into the waistband. So I'm going to do the same thing on this end of the waistband as I did for the tie, stitching a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then pointing off. And then on the opposite end of this, I am just going to use a quarter of an inch seam to stitch this together so that it is nice and neat on the end. So with all of that sewn, I'm going to turn my ties right side out. I like to use a knitting needle just to help turn. You wanna be careful if you do this not to poke a hole in your fabric. I've definitely done that a few times, but it really helps to get those corners nice and sharp. So I'm turning that right side out and then pressing it flat. On the long waistband piece, you will notice in the center where we have that gap where we didn't sew, there's still a lot of raw edge there. So what I'm going to do here is turn that up a quarter of an inch, just as if I were hemming it and press that down. Then I will press the waistband together flat and that will make it really nice and neat and allow me to put the skirt between those two layers. So once the waistband is pressed flat, it's time to put the skirt together. Now the skirt wraps the right side over the front side, so we're going to start with the right side, as you'll see here in just a second. And you wanna make sure that the long tie of your waistband is on the right side here. So here I'm placing the skirt in between the two layers of the waistband, about a half an inch up, and just pinning that down all the way across. You'll notice on the right side that the tie extends the 17 inches, but on the left side, the waistband should be even with the side of the skirt. So here is what it looks like pinned down and I'm just going to top stitch all the way around the perimeter of the waistband. You can see how the left side looks here as well. So just top stitching all the way around and making sure to back stitch to keep it really nice and strong.
So next I'm attaching the left waist tie. So you wanna make sure that this is pointing in the direction you want it to go and then flip it the other way because we want to fold it towards the direction that we want it to go. So I'm pinning this down at the left side seam and I'm just going to stitch this to the waistband using a lot of back stitching and keeping it really strong and sturdy here. So the skirt has really started to take shape. It's got both ties now. So the last step is to add a button and buttonhole to the inside. This is what will keep the skirt really secure and in place. So you wanna go ahead and try it on to mark where the button and buttonhole would be best on you. I am putting my buttonhole right at the edge of the left side. And then on the interior, I will sew the button to the right side, right at the side seam. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch a buttonhole on the left side. I use a different machine for this because my other machine doesn't really work so well for buttonholes. Um, but yeah, any machine should be able to do a buttonhole. And then I'm stitching a button to the opposite side just by hand and making sure to only sew through the inside layer of the waistband so that the stitching doesn't show. from all things at once without thinking I'm also going to go ahead and open out the buttonhole using these little scissors. You can use sharp scissors like this, or I sometimes use a seam ripper, just anything that will give you some precision so you don't accidentally cut through those threads that keep the buttonhole strong. So after attaching the button and buttonhole, the skirt just needed a final press and it was done. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. I really love the wrap style for the summertime. I think it's so perfect for this time of year. It's really flowy and comfortable and light and breezy. Um, but this particular style doesn't blow open when I walk, which is so nice. That's something I'm always concerned about with wrap skirts. And I also really love this fabric. It's a soft rayon from Rifle Paper Company with this orange citrus print. So I'll have this linked below in case any of you guys would like to use the same fabric because it is super nice and really comfortable for this time of year. So I know I'll be getting a lot of use out of this this summer. I also had a little bit of fabric left, so I think I might try to make a top to make a little matching set, which I think would be super cute as well. And if you found a way out all right guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I put this skirt together. If you make it yourself, be sure to tag me over on Instagram in your photos because I would love to see it. My username over there is just Lauren Johnson. I'll put that on the screen in case you'd like to follow me. I'd love to hang out with you over on Instagram as well. And if you're new to my YouTube channel and you want to see more videos like this, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe by clicking that red button down below and that'll just let you be notified whenever I post a new video in the future. My next video should hopefully be a tutorial for some smocked tops that I'm really excited about making. So look forward to that hopefully next week and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. So much more.